When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my very soul cries out, hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. Now, let me say this. When we use that word saved, it's not always mean salvation. The word saved, means deliverance. So I praise God for delivering me. Again, I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, there is a word from the Lord and my prayer is that you would receive the word that God has given to me to share with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those of you that have your Bibles, I would that you turn with me to the book of Psalms. Psalms 103. And I'm going to read first from the King James Version. And then I will read it again from the Amplified Bible. Again, Psalms 103, verses 1 and 2. And it reads as follows. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse number two, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget, and forget not all his benefits. My text will come from the latter part of verse two, where it reads, and forget not all his benefits benefits. And from that scripture, I want to use for a subject. Don't forget. I repeat, the subject is don't forget. Allow me to read the same scripture again from the Amplified Bible. Again, verse 2. And this is what the scripture is saying. With all my heart, I praise the Lord. I will never, never forget how kind he has been to me. These are the words of David. Again, these are the words of David speaking of God's wonderful love. Yes, God is a God of love. He's reminded that the Lord forgives sin. And those of you that have studied the background of David, you know, David was what we would call a sinner. He was an adulterer, a murderer. But David sought God and repented. Remember, David said these words, Before thee and thee alone have I sinned. And David is reminded that God was a healer. He said he healed us when we were sick. The words, the word forget simply mean lose remembrance. To forget can be
be detrimental. And when forgetting becomes habitual, it can become harmful. It can become harmful, and may I say, in many ways. Forgetting also can be detrimental. It is said, when you forget the blessings of God, when you bestow his blessings on us, we are happy. When God bestows his blessings upon us and when we feel that we are being blessed of God, we are excited, we are happy. Then, down through times, we forget what God has done. We quote these words so often. The Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad. But then, we forget. Note our text, Psalms 103. David said, I tell myself, praise the Lord. Now, when you study this entire 103rd Psalm, you find that David speaks of a good God and the love that God has for us. Yes, I repeat, God is a God of love. David places focus on God's glorious deeds. It is easy to complain about life. And many of us, many of us daily go through life complaining of the situation that we are dealing with. But the list David gives us in this psalm gives us plenty for which to praise God for. I know there are people that say, I have nothing to thank God for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But David gave us a list of the many things that we have to praise God for. As the songwriter once said, I've had my good days. I've had my bad days. But when I look around and to see what God has done, all of my bad days turn into good days. And for this, I won't complain. Allow me to repeat what David is saying about our good days. He forgives our sin. He has healed our sick bodies and give us righteousness and justice. God is a God of justice even though we didn't reserve. Yet we receive all of these without, as I said, deserving any of them. When you feel as though you have nothing to praise God for, study this 103rd Psalm. Let's look at 
the word vow. The definition of the word vow is a solemn promise. Ask yourself this question. How many vows or promises have I made to God? Ask yourself how many promises that I have made to God. And yet you did not keep any of them. Let me say this. One of the characteristics of God is that God is omniscient. God knows all things. And need I pause to say, because he is a God that knows all, God knew when you made that promise that you were not going to keep it. You just didn't fulfill them. The Bible says it is better to make a vow and fulfill it than to make a vow and not fulfill it. The Bible says, again, God is omniscient. God knew, again, you are not going to fulfill the promise when you made it. But he is blessing you anyhow. Many of you were hospitalized or in the hospital and felt you were going to die. You promised God, if you heal my body, I'm going to church and to serve you. And when you received your healing, and when you left the hospital, you went everywhere but church. When you make a vow to God, don't forget it. We used to sing a song. I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. We are now coming out of a great epidemic where millions, where millions of people lost their lives. But God has spared our lives and we are yet in the land of the living. But may I say again, when you think about how God has spared you. Can I tell you? Don't forget it. I'm often reminded of the words of David in Psalms 124 verse 1. These are the words of David. When God blessed Israel from miraculous deliverance. David said to Israel, had it not been for the Lord who was on our side, we would have been consumed. I encourage you to pause and think about the words that God, that David has said to Israel. And think about where God has brought you from. You too can say, had it not been for the Lord who was on our side.
Remember it. It was God that brought us out. Again, don't forget. I often quote the words of a song when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. My very soul cries out, hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. When we look at the word save, it does not necessarily mean salvation. The word save mean deliver. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, I praise God for delivering me through the many trials, the many tests that I, as an individual, have gone through. And I'm sure, I'm sure there are many of you that under the sound of my voice can think of the many hard times that you had gone through and how God had intervened on your behalf and delivered me. It was the words of David when he said, I cried, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard my cry, and he delivered me. He delivered me from all of my sin. People of God, many of us have cried unto the Lord. We have come to the conclusion we did not know how to escape what we were going through. But you too can say as David, when you cried unto the Lord, the Lord heard your cry and he delivered me. Let me give you a short testimony. When I look back over my life, And to see or remember where God has brought me from. And I too personally can say as David said to the children of Israel, and I quote this scripture daily, had it not been for the Lord who was on my side, I would have been consumed. But somehow, it seems as though we are now living in a time where we forget where God has brought us from. As I said earlier, many of us have made promises or vow to God. If you would deliver me, I will will serve you. But it's so sad to say, you forgot. You forgot the vow or the promise that you made to God. But I encourage you, people of God, don't allow the devil to cause you to forget where God has brought you from. When we talk about praising God, praise is, is not confined to verbal praise. Verbal praise is good, but the best praise that we can offer unto God is by the life that we live. I know, I know, I know, as I often say, that we are in the flesh, and it seems as though we try to do everything to please 
our flesh. But the Bible says, in this flesh dwelleth no good thing. So what am I saying? I'm saying all within you, all within you, you ought to submit your lives into the hands of God and allowing God to see within your life that you are grateful for what he had done. Again, David said he cried. He pleaded unto the Lord and the Lord heard his cry. People of God, keep in remembrance, keep in remembrance of the blessings that God had done. And I often say, the same God that brought you out of the past is the same God can take you through your future. Trust in God, believe God, and remember, remember, you refuse to allow the enemy not to allow you to give God to the praise that he so deserved. We used to sing a song years ago. I made a vow to the Lord and I won't take it back. You know, remember years ago, years ago, what was called then the Sanctified Church. The Sanctified Church used to have what we call testimony service. And it was just so joyful and exciting for the saints of God to sing a song of praise unto the Lord and to verbal, verbal testify of where God has brought them from. Well, now we're in the modern church and we don't have testimony service anymore. And it seems as though there are those that have forgotten where God has brought them from. But I thank God, I thank God, I can testify of the goodness of the Lord. Saints of God, people of God, do not forget the goodness of the Lord. Acknowledge his blessings and his kindness. Because again, the Lord has done great things. And take it as an individual, take it personal. The Lord has done great things for me, whereof. I am glad. I often quote the words of Mary, the mother of Jesus, when she said, my very soul magnify the Lord and my spirit rejoice in the God of my salvation. I can't help it. I can't help myself. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Joy bells ring it continuously in my soul. Sometimes I just walk through the house, walk through the streets, wherever I'm at, I just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I recognize it was you that brought me to where I am today. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ again that you will not forget where God has brought you you from. Remember our subject. Don't forget. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? I pray that a word have touched the heart of those that are in the sound of my voice, that they will not forget all of your blessings that you have bestowed upon them. On their behalf, 
I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, we recognize it was you, it was you that brought us to where we are. And again, as David said to the children of Israel, had it not been for you who was on our side, we would have been consumed or we would have been destroyed. And for this, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you in Jesus' name. People of God, be blessed, be encouraged, and remember, it was God, it was God who was on your side and who had brought you from where you were to where you are. Remember our thought, don't forget. God bless you, have a smile upon you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. God bless.